Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing good. Welcome back to our video tutorials on how to create amazing AI chatbot. We're still using our chatbotbuilder.ai platform to help us create beautiful, productive chatbots. So in this video, we're going to focus on how to install a web chat widget on our website. If you go to the chatbotbuilder.ai website, you notice there's a cute little widget on the lower right hand side right here and what it is is that when the user clicks on it it allows the user to interact with the chatbot right there okay so it's very important that your chatbot uh, is able to run on your website or your client's website or even anywhere online right we don't want restrictions right uh, in the past, many chatbots out there kind of restricted to Facebook platforms, you know, like uh, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp, you know, uh, and there are other platforms like Telegram, you know, all these platforms tend to have their own rules, right? Uh, some of you may also have clients that have a website and they may be asking you, hey, can your bot integrate with our website, right? Or maybe you have your own website you want to add a chat widget to this video is for you I'm gonna show you step by step on how to get this thing done all right so follow along with me uh, there are different ways you can approach this okay but I'm gonna just go ahead and show you two different ways and I'll recommend one of them to you okay so one way you can do this is to go over to settings okay so i made my chatbot builder account i went over to settings and then i'm gonna go over to channels and i'm gonna scroll down to where it says web chatbot all right now i'm assuming you already have set up yours right uh, if you haven't done that please watch one of my previous video i show you how to set one of these up it's very very easy uh, you want to go ahead and click manage here and as you can see I already have one set up right here if you don't have this please click add uh, give it a name and then once you do that you will see something like this right okay and then uh, you can edit this part put the name you want all right uh, and then over here anytime the lead tries to engage with your bot what's the first message you want the lead to see right you want to go ahead and choose what that flow will be all right and then over here uh, you want to put the domain name of the website that you want to install the chatbot on okay so as you can see I put it, my domain in here okay and then we have conversation starters you can leave it the way it is for now you don't have to put anything here Persistent menu, if you don't have anything in there, leave it the way it is for now. Later on, I will create videos that will be dedicated to each of these sections right here to show you how to use them, all right? Uh, there are some more options over here. If you wanna play around with it, pick a template that you like, that's fine. Pick a color that matches with your logo or your brand, that's okay. Uh, here you can check some other options that you want. If you want to just leave them the way they, they are right now, you can do so. All right. So just decide what is best for your business. Okay. Once you've done, go ahead and hit save on the upper right hand side right here. And then you should see something like this. Now you want to go over to the three dots on the right hand side. Okay. And then you want to scroll up and click on where it says get code. All right and then you can click OK right here so we just grab the code and then you want to go over to your website all right and right now for the purpose of this demo I'm gonna be using a WordPress website okay there are many content management systems out there in the market I believe Wix is one of them you know it's so many and I mean obviously I cannot create video for all those hundreds of content management systems but 99% of them have a place where you can paste JavaScript codes okay uh, if you don't know where it is you can contact uh, the uh, customer service of your content 
management uh, platform uh, and they will help you out okay uh, but for the purpose of this demo I'm gonna be using WordPress okay so what I did was that I went over let me move a little bit okay so I went over to where it says um, appearance customize all right some of you that use WordPress uh, probably use special plugins for scripts all right so you can use plugins if you want but I'm just keeping it simple I'm gonna click where it says custom scripts all right uh, I already have some scripts running in the header area but the code we're gonna be using from chatbot builder for the web widget is gonna be pasted in the footer section okay uh, so over here you want to paste that code remember that code that we grabbed over here right here we want to paste that code right inside here okay and as soon as you do that you could see that chatbot builder responded really fast and gave us a preview of how the web widget is gonna look like you can see it right over here okay now um, I will not use this code all right I just put it in here just for you to see that you know the code how the code will show up here but I'm not gonna use this code I'm gonna use a different code because this code is a little bit restrictive I want a little bit more freedom uh, you know when I'm setting up my chat widget right so for now we're gonna delete this code and follow along with me please uh, we're gonna delete this code we're not gonna use this one we're gonna grab a different code so to do that I'm gonna go over look for where it says documentation and click on documentation okay and then click and type in web chat okay and you can see that web chat pulled up right here just click on it okay and then we want to scroll down we're gonna grab a template code that I will recommend you use all right so scroll all the way down to this part right here okay and then copy this code right here there are two of them in here okay the one I recommend you use is this code right here the reason why I like this code is it gives you a lot of customizing options all right so let's copy this one and then we're gonna go back to our WordPress content management system and then I'm gonna paste it in the footer area right here okay now you notice that the chat widget just popped up on the lower right hand side but this is not the one we want this is the one a template version from chatbot builder right so we need to customize it to look exactly like what we want so that it can match the website we have right okay so to do that we are gonna um, we're gonna customize our JavaScript code all right now follow along with me don't let it intimidate you just follow along with me and you can do it easily okay so the first thing we want to change is our page ID number right here okay so we're going to replace that number inside that double quotation right here so let's go over to our chatbot builder account and we're going to grab our own ID number to do that you want to click on settings on the left hand side and let's scroll down to where it says account ID now remember that we're gonna be using account ID number although it says page ID in the JavaScript uh, what we're gonna be using is account ID number okay so please pay attention to that uh, go ahead and right click right here and we're gonna copy that and then we're gonna go back to our script and then we want to highlight that number right inside here okay be careful please not to delete that quotation um, the double quotation okay we only want to edit the number inside of it so I highlight that I'm gonna hit control V on my computer and right there the number is changed okay 
So we're not quite done yet. Okay. We want to change where it says header title. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and again, I'm going to select right here. Please follow along with me. All right. I believe this thing is zoomed right on your screen. So just follow and do exactly what I'm doing and you will get the same results at the end. So for header title, I'm going to highlight the text within the double quotation and I'm going to put, let's say, the name of my business. In this case, I'm going to say Columbus Auto Group West. All right. So for header title, that's the name we want to show um, at the very top of the widget window. Okay. So I would recommend you put your the name of your business in there. Okay. So the next thing is uh, we want to edit where it says ref. Now ref is going to be the first message that the user or potential lead is going to see the moment they click to initiate engagement with the chatbot right they're gonna see some kind of a welcome message i recommend you use your welcome message whether it's a normal welcome one or it's an ai welcome message you have uh, i recommend you use your welcome message all right so as you can see here uh, the welcome message is being represented by a number okay so we're gonna grab our id for our own welcome message and we're going to replace this number with with our own welcome message id all right so let's go do that let's go grab our welcome message id i'm going to go over to my cvb account i'm going to click on flows and then i'm going to look for my welcome message that's my welcome message right here I don't think I created uh, yeah this should be it right there okay so I'm gonna click right in here and then I'm going to hover my mouse right over the welcome message that I'm using so as soon as you hover your mouse you notice something just popped up at the top right sort of like a, I think it's called tooltip or something I don't know but anyway once you hover your mouse on, you see that little window that pops up at the top. There's one of them that looks like a fingerprint, right? Go ahead and put your mouse on that and click that one time. So it says, see where it says get step ID? Just click it one time and you see that green, green icon here says success. All right, and then you wanna go back to your script and then uh, we are going to paste right inside here okay so go ahead and highlight this section over here okay again please not to sound repetitive be mindful of the double quotation right over there okay so we don't want to delay the double quotation we only want to change the number i just highlighted it and i'm going to hit Control v on my computer and right there i have replaced that number this is going to represent our welcome message okay that the user will see when they first uh, engage with the button okay the next thing we're going to change is the icon all right so to do that as you could see right here there is some kind of an image representing you know the icon for cbb we don't want that we're going to change uh, what's in the double quotation right here okay now um, for those of you that are using WordPress I'm assuming that you already have your icon somewhere inside your media okay so if you go to your media you have it already in there uh, if not you want to add the icon right uh, I created one with Canva that I wanted to use so I'm just gonna grab it right here where is the icon? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I think it's right over here. Yep, this is the one I want. Okay. So I have it in white. So you can see that uh, it's sort of like it's not showing, but it's white. And I know the reason why I picked white because it's going to blend nicely once everything is said and done with the customization. You can see right here 
okay so you can see the icon that I want to use All right so I'm gonna go ahead and click and then I'm gonna copy this right here and then I'm gonna go to my uh, where is the JavaScript right here and then we're gonna replace that URL right inside here the one which says HTTP all the way to PNG okay and then I'm gonna hit control V okay again pay attention to the quotation uh, you can see that as I'm customizing the JavaScript you can see the changes are happening on my right hand side which is pretty cool it gives me a preview all right so the next thing we want to do is the color okay we still have that CBB color in there uh, we want to change it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change it to black that way it will contrast with the icon and make it look very nice okay so I'm gonna go ahead and delete the color code right inside of the quotation and I'm just gonna write black in there all right and if we look at the preview look at that isn't that beautiful okay this is what we want this is the effect we want everything contrasts really beautifully okay and then uh, I'm just gonna leave it the template uh, template one for now so I'll just go ahead and maybe publish it all right okay and now we have our beautiful widget showing on the right hand side this time around it's customized to match with the colors of my website see how neat it is let's go ahead and click on it and see what happens right here and there we go is that not beautiful look at this all right you can see the welcome message just popped up right there this is exactly what we want I'm gonna go ahead and say hello to our bot uh, hello do you uh, do financing you do financing okay. isn't that beautiful look at that all right so now we have our chat widget installed on our website all right that is really beautiful I love what I'm seeing this is beautiful all right I like this okay so um there is another thing that I need to uh, bring to your attention uh, sometimes the script that you paste in here from CBB could conflict with certain JavaScript on your website okay these things do happen on certain content management you know platforms okay so I always recommend that after you've tested everything you've customized and everything looks good right here go over to your website and go ahead and check all the pages okay so you can see that I have my widget here uh, showing you know I want to go through my website go through different pages okay and make sure that all the pages are showing the way they're supposed to if you notice that a page is broken or something doesn't look right okay I recommend that you send um, a message to the uh, support for you know chatbot builder and then let them know that hey I installed the code on my site and uh, it seems there's a problem can you help me out okay you can go ahead and uh, send them this code you know just show them what you did maybe they can suggest something to you another thing you can do also is that you can copy this customized code and send it over to the support department of your content management platform okay if it's uh, Wix go ahead and contact Wix support send them this code and say hey something doesn't look right or you can just send them the code if you don't want to do all of this just send it to them and, and ask their web developers to uh, install it for you all right but I just wanted to bring your attention that sometimes these things do happen 
there are even times when a script that you paste on your website um, will not even work right so your widget will not even show all right now just in case that you try to install the uh, the JavaScript and it did not work on your website okay this is one of the things I recommend you do while you are troubleshooting the issue or while the support is helping you out you can use something called an image link on your website okay so if you look at this website right here you can see there's this image right here okay and what it is is that once a user clicks on it you notice that it opens up your web chat right so it's nothing really complicated what it is is that it's a simple image that has a landing link okay and if you hover over you can see at the lower bottom you can see the link right there so I'm gonna show you how to add something like this to your website as sort of like a temporal backup just in case you need your chatbot to work on your website and maybe the widget is not showing or you're having trouble with your content whatever it is so uh, for those of you using um, WordPress I'm assuming that you already have an image um, you know inside of your image section that you want to use right inside of your gallery okay I have I have mine right over here okay so you I use Canva to create this okay so make sure you get your image that you want to use get it ready upload it to your uh, your content management system in the library area okay and then you want to make sure you copy the address okay so this is the address where it's sitting at okay you copy that address your content management system might be different but it's pretty much the same process okay so if I go over here to home okay this is sort of like my page builder okay and right over there I can add you know I can add something like an image okay and then I could click one of these ones right here okay single image once I click it it will pull something up like here like this right here okay then you can click edit and then you can just click add right there and then you can add the image you want I've already done it so I'm not gonna repeat it but once you do this you wanna now look for a place where it says image link okay so this is where the user is gonna land once they click on that image okay you want them to land somewhere in this case we want it to open up the chat uh, the web chat online right so to get this image link all you got to do is to go over to your flows okay so right here where it says flows what you want to do is uh, you want to click on those three dots this time around right here the three dots to the right click on that you want to grab this link right here just click on it get link and then click copy since we want to do web chat click copy right here and then you come right over here and then you can just paste that right in here okay and then once you're done go ahead and hit save changes okay all right I want to click right here and then you will notice right here okay that anytime the user comes in and clicks on your image wherever you placed it I recommend you place it you place the image in different parts of the website okay I put one in the middle some at the bottom anytime the user clicks it it's gonna prompt your web chat to pull up and then the user can start chatting okay so again guys this is sort of like a temporal um, duct tape backup you know solution okay um, and that way you can have something working on your website while you're getting support to help you uh, or while you're trying to troubleshoot your chat widget bubble not working okay so I hope that's helpful all right so 
let's have a little fun okay let's say we want to uh, we want our chat widget to do a little bit more okay so we want to customize this widget uh, by adding some attributes to it um, okay so we're going to add some attributes to our widget to let it do a little bit more okay uh, to do that we want to go over to our documentation I'm gonna go right here okay so I'm in my chatbot builder account remember that documentation section we looked at uh, you should see a table right inside here okay so this is a table of attributes that we can add to our JavaScript okay and it will expand the functionality of your web widget okay so for demo purposes we're gonna do two of them okay one of them is called show persona the other one is gonna be hide header okay so for the show persona what it does is that um, whenever a user is interacting with the bot right it's usually two people having a conversation one of them is representing your business right so the chatbot is representing you right so anytime the chatbot says something an icon will show on the left hand side okay and that icon could be maybe like your logo right so when I say something like um, hi uh, do you uh, do trading do tradings okay so when I say something like this immediately after the uh, the bot respond you will see on the left hand side there will be some kind of a badge right that will indicate that this is a message from the business okay so that's what the show persona does so let's see how we can display that icon on the left hand side we're gonna use the show persona attribute okay so I'm gonna go back to the, uh, the JavaScript right here and then I'm going to add that persona to do that please follow along with me just follow carefully if you follow carefully and follow me what I'm doing you will get the exact same results all right so right over here right before where it says icon okay I'm gonna place my mouse right here I'm gonna hit enter I'm gonna create a space right there okay so I'm gonna hit enter and then enter again okay so you notice I have this space right here okay this is where we're gonna add that uh, attribute okay so to do that I'm gonna hit double quotation double quotation column double quotation double quotation comma that that and then we're gonna put something inside of it okay so the first thing we want to do is uh, let's go over and grab where is the okay right here so we're gonna do show persona I'm gonna go ahead and copy show persona right here I'm gonna go over to the script and then right in the first double quotation to the left I'm gonna paste show persona right in there okay and then I'm gonna go back to my uh, table and then right on the right hand side we have some kind of uh, in JavaScript called boolean true or false right so we want to decide what we want to do since we want to show it we're going to put true in there okay if we don't want to show it it's going to be false but this time we want to show it so we're going to put true so on the right hand side of it in the next double quotation to the right i'm going to write true right there okay and let's see right here okay our widget is still showing so this time around I'm gonna go ahead let me hit publish I don't have to hit publish it's cause it's giving me a preview but let me just do that just for best practice okay so once you save it let's go test it out this time around so you can see right here that on the left hand side you can see this icon 
it's it's the logo right here showing see that right there which is pretty cool right so I could say uh, hi do you check credit see that so when I write I don't have a persona but anytime the business responds you can see that icon which is the logo okay I think that the script is pulling the logo from your chatbot builder uh, account logo I think it's pulling this logo and it's showing that as your persona so you can see that right there isn't that cool guys that's pretty cool okay so the next one we want to do is we want to add a hide header attribute okay and what that will do is that it's going to hide the header um, right on top of the chat widget right now we have a header that looks like a white header and it has the text Columbus Auto Group right up here right so let's say we want to hide it okay so we want to go over to our attribute section uh, on the table and then we want to use the hide header attribute right here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my script and I'm going to make some space in here um, where should we put it let's put a let's put it right over here uh, let, well, let me make a row right here okay just so it's easy for us to look at and then I'm gonna put double quotation double quotation column double quotation double quotation comma alright and then inside of it I'm gonna place a hide header let me copy hide header right here go back to the script on the left hand side double quotation I'm gonna put hide header okay now by default is showing okay so hide header if I wanted to hide I'm gonna put true in there so on the right hand side double quotation I'm gonna put true okay and so when I go over to the widget you can see that the header is not showing anymore see right there no more header okay if I want to change it and, and show I would prefer having a header at the top it looks a lot nicer so I'm gonna go ahead and change from true to false okay I'm gonna change it from true to false and when I click it this time around there we go our header is back up this looks a lot better all right this looks cleaner I like this all right guys so I don't want to make this video way too long looks like I already made it long um, there are so many other um, attributes in there that you can play around with okay so just look through and see which ones you want to use um, don't get too overwhelmed I just say just keep it simple okay but if you want to play around with it just you know help yourself and uh, uh, make your chatbot look cool okay guys hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell hit the like button all right I'll be creating more videos like this if you have any questions if you're stuck somewhere and you need help send me an email write a comment and I'll look at it and see if I can be of help to you alright okay then thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video have a wonderful day and bye